Just as there were eras in the past known as the Iron Age and the Ice Age, people living two or three hundred years from now might look upon our era as the Microchip Age. Never in the past has technology advanced as quickly as it is right now. Even being able to stream this video directly into your device instantly across the internet wouldn't have been possible 25 years ago. And yet here we are. Here are some of the latest and greatest technological advancements that have really caught our eye. We didn't say caught our eye by accident, because we are starting off with a recent medical breakthrough that might make glasses and contact lenses obsolete. If exciting research from Shara Zedek Medical Center in Israel is accurate, perfect 2020 vision could soon be a reality for everybody, thanks to special eye drops which use nanoparticle technology. Not only that, you might even be able to improve your eyesight from home immediately. The team is testing the idea of using an app to measure the refraction of human eyes, and then project a laser light directed onto the surface of the cornea. The laser causes ablations on the cornea, which the eye drops then fill and optimize eyesight. The correction isn't permanent, and so anyone using the treatment will have to repeat the painless process every couple of months. It's hoped that the research will result in a commercially available product within less than two years. If you want to know that you have a clean bill of health seven days a week, every week of the year, right now your only option is to see your doctor regularly. Your doctor might not like that. They'd prefer to be using their time to treat sick patients. Soon though, there might be an alternative, and it comes in the form of a pill. Inspired by the pufferfish, the pill has been designed by researchers at America's University of Massachusetts to be swallowed and then expand in the stomach, where it assesses your health and begins looking for diseases. Inside the squishy pill are tiny sensors, which monitor bacteria inside the body and watch for viruses. They could also be trained to look out for tumors, or track the progress of internal ulcers. After a month, they would be completely digested, and a new pill would then be taken to replace them. Not only that, but the adaptable pills might also be used to suppress the appetite and aid weight loss. All the medical innovations in the world won't help you if you fall ill in a remote location, or somewhere no medical supplies are available. That won't happen anymore if the idea of ambulance drones catches on, though. The ambulance drone is the brainchild of Dutch student Alec Momont from the Delft University of Technology. The high-speed drones could be dispatched the moment an emergency call comes in and would be equipped with microphones, speakers, and cameras so a trained operator can talk civilians through the process of using the life-saving equipment they would provide. The first drones are expected to provide defibrillators with the intention that they'll arrive faster than ambulances in situations where people have suffered heart attacks. As death usually occurs after six minutes following a heart attack, and averages tend to take at least 10 minutes to arrive, getting the essential equipment there a few minutes earlier could save thousands of lives. Let's hope this idea is implemented sooner rather than later. The appearance of cruise ships may not have changed much in the past 50 years, but the technology inside them has come on in leaps and bounds. The Norwegian vessel MS Roald Amundsen is the first of a whole new breed of Norwegian coastal express ships. Having set sail on her maiden voyage in July 2019, she's the first hybrid-powered ship in their whole fleet. By using electrical propulsion, the MS Roald Amundsen has two aims. Firstly, it wants to reduce pollution by consuming less fuel and emitting less carbon dioxide. And secondly, it wants to show the world that it's possible to build large ships with hybrid propulsion. It takes its name from the famous explorer Roald Amundsen, who was the first man to reach the South Pole. Built with travel through freezing polar waters in mind, once it completes its maiden voyage, it will be officially christened later in 2019, with a chunk of ice taking the place of the traditional champagne bottle in the ceremony. Even the impressive MS Roald Amundsen pales in comparison to the Symphony of the Seas, which is the largest serving liner anywhere in the world. 
A century ago, the Titanic was the most incredible ship in the world. Even with all of its luxuries, the Titanic looks like a modest vessel when compared to the opulence and scale of Symphony of the Seas. This is a luxury liner for the 21st century. Over 1,000 feet long and weighing in excess of 220,000 tons, the 18-deck ship looks too massive to stay afloat, but she does it in style. There's room on board this ocean-faring behemoth for over 5,000 passengers at once, who have a choice of 22 restaurants to visit when they get hungry, as well as 24 swimming pools to relax in. With so much space, there are even 40-foot-high rock climbing facilities so passengers and crew can keep fit. She's the current pride and joy of the whole Royal Caribbean fleet. What do we do if we don't like the look of a document we're working on? Or we've made a mistake? We edit it and everything looks better. Now imagine we could do the same with genetic defects. That might sound like science fiction, but it could soon be science fact. Researchers at America's University of Pennsylvania have been working on genome editing with primates for years and have successfully demonstrated that they can lower cholesterol levels in monkeys just by amending one liver gene called PCSK9. Currently, no drug is capable of achieving the same effect. The process works by engineering enzymes called meganucleases and then delivering them to a target area within the body. The same gene is believed to play a role in heart disease, so the ability to combat heart disease by using genome editing is now a tantalizing possibility. Clinical trials for humans may still be a few years away, though. New technology isn't all about what's happening down on Earth. We have the whole of outer space to consider, too. Our search for life among the stars is what motivated the construction of the Meerkat radio telescope in South Africa. The highly advanced Meerkat isn't just one single device. It's made up of over 60 huge dishes, spread out over five miles of South Africa's Northern Cape. Even with all that power, it's still a work in progress. The science team behind it considers it to be phase one of building an even larger array of radio telescopes called the Square Kilometer Array. When complete, it will become the most powerful radio telescope on Earth and let us monitor space closer than ever before. Meerkat has already made one exciting discovery, picking up a burst of activity from a magnetar, which had previously been considered to be inactive for three years. Telescopes like Meerkat hope to be able to tell us more about how our universe formed, which, in turn, might tell us where it's headed. As we explore space, we have a duty to keep it tidy. Decades of humans launching rockets and satellites has left quite a lot of space trash in orbit. It's not a huge hazard right now, but if it keeps building up, objects in orbit will eventually start colliding with each other which could knock out communication satellites and disable networks. Nobody needs that. So the Swiss Space Center is doing something about it. Their invention, Clean Space One, is yet another satellite. But this one doesn't add to the clutter, it tidies it up. The first satellite will cost 10 million francs and is a one-shot deal. Its mission is to get into space, grab onto a large item of space junk, and then drive it back into the atmosphere burning up the junk as well as itself. Right now, it can only focus on the large objects, but with further refinement, should be able to take on the small items too. That's good news because NASA believes there might be as many as 16,000 bits of trash spinning around up there, and all of them pose a hazard to future space missions. We think that the design team at Hyundai might have been watching Transformers movies recently, because their concept car, the Hyundai Elevate, looks like it's walked straight off the set of one of the films. And we really do mean walked. The Elevate drives on four wheels like any other car, but when it comes across an obstacle that it can't drive over or around, it can just get up on its mechanical legs and walk over it. Hyundai believes that they've come up with technology that could allow a car to drive a wall, and they can sit in emergency vehicles. 
which can't always get as close to the scene of an accident as they'd like to. The traditional axles you'd find beneath your current car are done away with here. The wheels are instead mounted on telescopic robotic legs, which can fold out whenever required. As the legs feature five points of articulation, they're as maneuverable as a human being. Nobody can deny the impact that Uber has had on taxi travel. They're fast, they're efficient, and the ability to track your ride takes the guessing out of waiting for your car to turn up. They're not infallible, though. If you order an Uber at rush hour, you're stuck in the traffic going nowhere, just like everybody else. Five or six years from now, that might change. A Fort Worth-based company called Bell, which has partnered with Uber, recently unveiled a full-scale prototype of the Bell Nexus, an electric hybrid air taxi that you can think of like a mini helicopter for inner city use. Because it's capable of vertical takeoff and landing, it takes up very little space. And there's room for you and four friends to ride in the back. Uber has made no secret of the fact that they want to be the first company in the world to offer taxis through the air. And they want to be able to do it soon. Now, we know what the Nexus will look like, and a prototype has been built. This futuristic idea might be with us sooner rather than later. We all know the frustration of owning a device that runs on batteries and runs out too quickly, whether it's our phones or our television remote controls. Wouldn't it be nice just to fit a battery into something and know that it's going to carry on for the next 20 years? Thanks to Nanotritium from City Labs, you can. Nanotritium batteries are effectively nuclear batteries. They are only around the size of your thumb, but they contain a radioactive element which is capable of releasing and sustaining power on the nanowatt level for two entire decades. Radiation might sound like a scary word in relation to a battery that you might have in your house, but the beta-voltaic element of nanotritium is also found in everything from luminous paint to glow-in-the-dark wristwatches. At this early stage in their development, they're only capable of acting as a power supply for devices which have a low demand, but they're perfect for many medical implants and basic sensors. That means they'll be more important for clinical use than home use for now, but you never know what the next generation of the batteries might be capable of. Telecoms companies have been looking for the next big thing in mobile phone design for several years now. The basic design of the smartphone hasn't changed significantly since the launch of the first iPad, but recently we've started to get a glimpse into the future. Folding phones are on the market now, and it's fair to say they've split the crowd. But what we're really all holding out for is phones which bend and curve, and they're on their way. Having a phone that you could twist and curve without breaking means you could fold it up and pack it away in a small pocket or sit down without worrying about ruining the lining of your clothes. Apple applied for a patent on bending phones some time ago and is hard at work on refining the idea, but it's likely a Chinese company will beat them to it. Moxie Group has already brought black and white phones, graphene phones, which are so flexible they can be rolled up onto the market and now has plans to release full color phones within the next 12 months. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you soon.